Hello, Swami Gang Gang. We're playing Telltale's The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 5, Part 3. And honestly, I don't know why we're going back to the house here. Krista was saying that we need to go back and observe if we missed anything. Kenny just wants this boat. I guess that's what we're ch- Holy. And it's gone. What the fuck? So much for going to Tahiti. Come on. Just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's a guy on the radio. The one that's got Clem. They're gone. He out here playing chess. Holy shit. They're gone. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. Hey guys. What? No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It wasn't? It was Vernon. What? No fucking way. That bitch. The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who have been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. Sorry, I just had to look up what the word invalid means, and it says it's a person made weak or disabled by illness or injury. So first off, Kenny, you can't go around calling people invalids. That's insulting. And besides, they're all in remission. Like, they don't... They don't have it right now. So yes, they're just normal people. But Krista, you're also wrong too. Yes, they've struggled longer than some of us have in this group. But that doesn't give them a free pass to come in and steal our boat. That's, that's wrong. It's morally wrong. I say that because there are no laws anymore. So yeah, they could easily just come in and steal the boat. It's a free-for-all now, but I... Would still like to hold on to the, 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 the one thing that makes us all human. And I also know that most of the time there are consequences for selfish actions. Who knows, maybe there was a hole in the boat that we didn't know about until we actually get the boat in the water. So now they, they're going to be sinking and not us. I think that's a blessing. You see, I've never been along for this boat plan. I thought it would never work and look at that. Kenny hyped it up so much to Vernon that he got his people to steal the boat and now they're gonna die. So it, it all works out in the end. I think there's a lesson we can all learn here. But but Krista, don't, don't give them any sympathy. Because at the end of the day, we're all dealing with shitty situations. I mean, have you not been paying attention to what's been going on this whole time, Krista? We have been through some shit, and I'm sure we're still going to go through more shit before this all ends. So, fuck Vernon's group for making our situation more shittier than theirs. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a oh fucking boat ride. My God. When I find them, I'm going to rip their throats out. We'll never find them. We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. Yeah, um, when I clicked that option, I just picked the option that I knew my group was going to do and not what I wanted to do because, yes, the car situation, I didn't want to steal food out of, out of an abandoned car. It could have been someone else's food. The group outvoted me, so I had to sit back with Clem and just watch my group take the food. So with knowing that, I would know. That everyone would vote for stealing a boat. And I wouldn't. And I would have to sit back and watch the group take a boat. So when I answered that, I answered it as what would the group do? Not what I would have done. So I'm sorry if I confused you, Kenny. He says he feels bad about leaving Clementine behind. Oh, I'm sure he does. But the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. They fucked us! What do you mean us? They just, they just fucked you and your plan. I could give two shits about the boat. I want to look for Clem. Why aren't we doing that? Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. Kenny, don't shut down now, please. This is not happening. Kenny. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. Oh. You just did. <laughs> Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Krista's right. 
Bull was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? Yes. How about we just think for well, once? That's what I'm saying we do. We're not doing the snake, Kenny. Calm down, Kenny. Yeah, chill. Ben, thank you, but I don't need that right now. Oh, thank God Omid's here. We can do this in the yard. How about we do this inside the house with walls? Ben, I swear to God. Oh my God. What do we do without a boat? Krista, you know the answer. You've said it. We just get the hell up out of here. We don't need a boat. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Well, at the rate we're going, yeah, you're gonna need to take Where her. Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! All right, Ben! Let's go! Stand up for yourself! I am staying out of this one. Ben, you got this. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! Cool. You know how they die. You said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive, or dead, or walkers, or worse, and I don't know! So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, here come the walkers, ruining this oh, moment shit. here! Come. In the house! That's why we should have had this conversation inside, but yes, Ben, there's hope for you! I mean, you should have done it sooner, but I'm glad you're doing it! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Ooh. Maybe not. <laughs> we can secure this place. Krista! Okay, I'm in charge. You start looking for weapons. Search the house for weapons! On it. Kenny! Go upstairs and double check everything looks good. Go upstairs, secure whatever you can, and make sure we're alone. Done. Ben. You wanted to step up? Now's your chance. Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Yes, I know I'm talking to you. You have the most bodies out of everyone here. Maybe maybe less than me, because I do, I do be protecting this group a lot, and I do kill a lot of zombies. But you are a close second, because you kill people who are alive. So maybe if you pretend that the zombies coming after us are still alive and you accidentally kill them all? That'd be- that's great, Ben. You can do this. I believe in you. Ben, just do it! Omid! What is it? Omid, you good? What? Oh shit, the front door! Go, Lee! Go now! Front hallway! Everybody pick up the pace! Let's go- Oh my god! This damn dog door! I thought it only worked when the dog collar was near it. What? It only works when it's convenient, right? Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! Oh, okay. There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Uh, maybe- Hurry! Oh, sh oh shit, I gotta pick where the knife's at. Where, where would the knife be? A knife would be in a drawer. Yes! Chef Lee in the building. Take their goddamn arms off! Okay, y'all quit yelling at me. I got it, I got it. Go. Hiya! Yeah, I got one. Hiya! You got two, and then one more. Come on. Come on now. Hiya! Here we go. Is that not all of them? Come on! What do you mean, come Help. on? Do what? Fingers? Y'all can't close doors on fingers! Should be easy for four people! Now what? Now we get ready to fight. It's only a matter of time before they get in here. We might as well have the advantage here. Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! <laughs> I love it when we prove everybody wrong. Oh no! It's Brenda! Shop! Bye bye. Alright, let's run upstairs. Oh, me with the cover. Good Guys, job. Help me with this. Ben, you didn't grab a weapon. Oh my god. He's standing there looking like, oh no. Like, he needs to do something. He could have helped push, and I could have covered. I have a weapon. Does Ben not have a weapon? Everyone get to the end of the hallway. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. What do we do now? This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway. 
take a fucking stand! When did Ben get a weapon? He had one the whole time? We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Nice. Four. Two. What? We all know where to aim. Ben, what have you been shooting at? How do you only have two bullets in your in your gun? Alright. I'm gonna take most of the shots because I have the most bullets. So let me go first. Nice. Alright, here they come. I'm gonna need y'all to start shooting now. Yes, there we go. Yes! Work together! Oh god, I already hear everybody running out. I'm out! Me too! Fuck! Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening! Up! They're at it. Let's go! Go! Oh, come on, come on. Krista, not one step at a time! Skip some steps, please! Oh my god! And we dropped a gun. We dropped a gun. One of us does not have a weapon. I think it was Kenny. I think Kenny was the one that dropped his gun. Which, that sucks, because he can actually shoot. Here, um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. Wait, I'm the one that dropped it? Oh no, the infection is spreading faster than it needs to be. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right, we gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Enough with the bow. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the <laughs> Third. Industrial... Oh, mead? Krista. Let him cook. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. Yeah. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I like stupid jokes. They make me feel better. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't snap at Omid. He's the one that's keeping us together. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. We don't have time for that! Oh, Lee, you okay? No! Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm sure y'all figure it out. I'm just gonna, just I'm just gonna close my eyes and just pass out. Clementine! Get up, Lee! I'm okay! I'm really parents. No. Hold on, sweet pea. I'm on my way. You be brave. Lee, get up. Ben, can you just give me a minute? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. Oh, shit, what was that place called? He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. No, you're not killing me like you did Lily's dad. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I don't know. We still got time. You should've cut it off. No! At least then there would've been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. Y'all were too slow. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. You really want to do this right now? Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. Larry's a man he murdered. He looks fine to me. So did Larry. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! It's a valid right. question! I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get no, to No, let's it. cross it now. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you! You wouldn't be talking like this if it were Duck! What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. <laughs> I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, mm -hmm. not have people turn on Cause it's all about you, isn't this it? This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! Oh! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Really? Cause I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? 
How can you be fucking calm about that? Do you think this is calm, Kenny? Do I need to start yelling and throw shit? I'll throw shit. <laughs> yeah! I wish that was you. You ruined that dude's face. I did. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? <sighs> no. This mansion butts up against the one oh, next door. I'm so sick of y'all just talking and not actually doing something! I guess I'm the only one that cares about Clementine. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? I mean, y'all just saw me bust down the wall twice. Y'all... I'm done. Y'all need to start learning how to do shit. I'm not gonna be around here forever. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Oh, yay, I get to take a break? Thank you. And I'm keeping my eye on you, Kenny. Don't bash my head with that. Don't come near me with that thing. I ain't no bitch like Larry. I will fight back. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. Well, if that was the case, I wish I'd never shown no my bite. Then I would have gone solo. Just scared of what's coming. I am. And when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Wish you would have taken it off? I don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone, but tingly, like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? I really don't care about what happens to the guy, we just need to get Clementine. We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I only ask one thing from y'all. Can y'all please stay Clementine? I do not trust Kenny one bit. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. I'll be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right what now. What am I supposed to do it? Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? I'm not responsible for him. What do y'all want to do? What do you two think? He's a risk to the group, but... I feel bad for him. Yeah. I feel bad for him, too. He loses shit like that often? No. Nah. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. Listen, I'm mad at Kenny right now, so, um, yeah, I think Kenny's been treating him horribly. Kenny's been horrible to her. He blames Ben for his family's death, and it's just more complicated than that. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny, whatever that's good for. All right, I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure, if you don't count an infected leg. <laughs> you want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. Oh, stop it. How are you? I'm... Uh, yeah, let's all focus on what Kenny wants. I don't know how to answer that. Oh. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Are you talking to Krista or me? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. Kenny, you've been all over the place. A lot of us have lost families. Yeah, Kenny, he ain't the only one who's lost families. Ease up on him. Maybe take it easy on him from here on out. I'm angry as hell. Not at him. Maybe. Maybe not. 
You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. Yeah, Kenny, because you don't think about anyone but yourself. I'm a little upset with Ben, too, but at least he's standing up for himself. Respect that. Kenny, no! How'd you find that? Does Scott tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. I miss her. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. It's pretty easy for you. She came between Lee and I pretty good. What? I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. Well, fuck you too, Kenny. Are you still mad that I picked Herschel's son over Duck? You saved him, didn't you? Get over it. And you're both here now, trying to help each other. Well, cheers. Give me the fucking bottle. I need a drink to get through this conversation. Yeah, she's not gonna take the bottle. She's pregnant. So you might as well go ahead and just take another shot, Kenny. Or matter of fact, just give the bottle over here to me. I want it. Lee, just pass it up. What are you doing? That baby's dead. Did you forget that you were pregnant, Krista? What the fuck was that? I'm through. Oh, me! Let's go! No walkers. Things are looking up. Oh, mate, your your girlfriend just downed a whole bottle of whiskey. Um, and and your child is probably dead. I'm so sorry.